Hi viewers, welcome to the 11th lecture in our series of lectures on genetic resources and conservation. Today we will be going to talk about the status of species like threatened, endangered or extinct. What is the difference between these three status of the species that is uh, granted to the species or that is the species are given on the basis of their uh, on the basis of their loss like uh, how what is the status of the species? Is the species uh, population enough? Is their habitat is intact and they are surviving better or if they are endangered? So first of all, we will see the difference between the threatened, endangered and extinct species. Threatened species are those species which are vulnerable to become endangered in a near future. So right now, those species which are uh, threatened species, they, they are uh, gradually decreasing their population size but uh, now they are not uh, extinct or they are not endangered but in a near future if the uh, decrease in population continues or if the loss in habitat continues then these species can become endangered and what is meant by the endangered species endangered species are those species which are at the risk of extinction because of a sudden or rapid uh, decrease in their population and the loss of their habitats. So the first of all uh, threatened species and then after that there is a uh, in, in order there is endangered species because the endangered species there is a sudden decrease in their population and the extinct species are those species which are no more available which are no more alive in any part of the world either in the wild or in the uh, or in the domesticated form they are not present in any habitat and they are not located live in any uh, part of the world so if we say we, we also can say that the species has died out so these are the extinct species which are no more available in the world. So for in this order, of, for first of all, there will be a threatened species which is, uh, which is at the risk of becoming endangered. And there comes endangered species which is at the risk of becoming extinct. And then it comes to the extinct species when there is no individual of that species is alive in any part of the world. So these are uh, these are this is a difference between threatened, endangered, and extinct species. Now the ranking of this or the risk assessment of this uh, species extinction or endangerment is done by uh, two organizations. One is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They have made a red list of threatened species, and this list is was established in 1964 and this red list indicates the global conservation status of animals, plants, fungi and other uh, species that are available. And this red list keep track of the species that have undergone for the global assessment for their risk of extinction. And this species uh, or this list of uh, this red list keep on updating periodically. So the species that uh, are at the uh, the, the species uh, that are uh, named in this red list, they are put under the eight categories like the data deficient species, the least concerned species, near threatened species, vulnerable species, endangered species, critically endangered species, extinct species, in wild and extinct species. So these are the eight categories in which the species are categorized in the red list. So the red list of threatened species uh, uh, keeps on changing periodically. So if the species is threatened now, maybe next year that species is no more threatened or maybe next year that species is endangered. So it means that the global assessment is done periodically and this list is, up and this list is updated. And after that, there is the uh, there is another uh, risk assessment uh, done by the U.S. under the U.S. Endangered Species Act. The U.S. Endangered Species Act also a work or try to prevent the species from extinction. And the, the law classifies plants and animals as endangered if they are at risk of extinction through all or most of their geographic areas because the species they are not present in on one part of the world. They may be present on different parts of the world and the species they are also classified on the basis of their geographical locations like endemic species, indig uh, uh, indigenous species and uh, then the exotic species and extra. 
so uh, these are the species uh, the, so if uh, this act this act or uh, tries to assess the risk of extinction through all or most of their geographical areas the us fish and wildlife services assess the species endangerment risk on the basis of damage to their habitat overuse of it disease or predation inadequate protection and other factors so on the basis of these few factors the us fish and wildlife services assess the status of the species that either the species is threatened like if the, there is a loss of habitat or the people are uh, hunting more to that species or there is more disease prevalent in that species so it means that this species will become endangered in the near future so, uh, so on the basis of these few factors the us fish and wildlife services they assess the status of a species so this uh, so this was our today's lesson about the um, extinct endangered and threatened species and their, their risk assessment which is mainly done by the uh, uh, IUCN that is International Union for Conservation of Nature and US Endangered Species Act. Uh, so for my uh, more videos please subscribe to my channel that is MH Biology and keep watching my videos up till then goodbye.